It's time for a little holiday spirit and to fact check that holiday spirit. Let's check it out. Pee-woo. Was that a mint? Or was that a cotton ball? I don't know what the negatives of eating cotton are. I, I don't think it's digestible. It's like probably just some kind of plant thing that just adds fiber and it comes out in your poop. In general, don't eat inedible objects. That's why they're called inedible. Don't eat. Now sit still so I can do the finger prick. <gasps> finger prick? <gasps> it's cold. Yeah. The reason alcohol feels cold on your finger is because you put it on. Remember, it's a liquid, so it's going to evaporate. And because alcohol has a faster uh, evaporation time due to its temperature uh, evaporation point, you will feel a cold sensation on your body. Well, paint eggs, that's easier. <gasps> Finger has a heartbeat. <laughs> That's called a pulse. It's a boy. But he's your son. That's very impossible. Um, paternity tests are like 99.99% accurate, which means if 10,000 people came in to get tested, that's a lot of people to get tested. The only one that would flag <laughs> out of all the other ones would flag wrong. No, what's the correct way of putting it? It will be correct. 9,999 times out of 10,000. Hurry up, Frosty. The train is pulling out. Why is Frosty smoking a cigar? How is that good imagery for a child? Who created this? Are you coming to the North Pole too? I'm sure my mother won't mind. Is this Frosty the Snowman getting high on PCP thinking he's going to the North Pole? North, 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 North. Snowman. Children's cartoons of yesteryear were creepy AF. A refrigerated boxcar is a splendid way to travel. Splendid, that is, if one is a snowman or a furry coated rabbit. But for Karen. They're killing the poor kid. Not only are they trapping this child inside a cold room, probably leading her to develop hypothermia, they're also hotboxing it with whatever chemicals they're smoking in their pipe. Did you know that if a child grows up in a household where there is a smoker, even if you don't smoke in the vicinity of the child, just the smoke being on your clothing can increase the child's chance of developing allergies and lung diseases? Think about that. Are you cold, Karen? Now that's a silly question. You wouldn't be sneezing if you weren't cold. She wouldn't be shivering if she's not cold unless she was trying to develop a fever. Do you know that's how you develop a fever? Like people think when they get sick, they get cold. The reason you're getting cold is because your body's changing your set temperature to be higher. So you feel cold even though you're not really cold. And then you shiver. And when you shiver, you create heat and therefore your body temperature goes up and creates that fever. And that's why when you take one of the fever reducing medications, you sweat like crazy because that's how you lower your body temperature. Oh my God, she's really cold. If her body temperature, which normally should be around 98.6, her body temperature drops below 95, she's developing hypothermia. This is dangerous to all her organs. I've got to get Karen all warmed up or she's a goner. Whoa. What is, I don't know, I can't speak rabbit. But I can't make a fire. That's one thing I really can't do. You can't? You're smoking a fire right now, my guy. Guess we just better keep moving till we find someone who can. Well, the best way to warm someone up, obviously, is with heat. But also, it's very important to dry them off as quickly as possible. When you put them on the ground, separate them from the cold ground. Make sure they're not wet. You want dry heat because any kind of moisture on the skin will evaporate, therefore cool the body temperature down even further. That's how we re thermoregulate as creatures. And in almost no time, a splendid fire was crackling away. Thank God they warmed her up. Do you know diving in near freezing water, like 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius, in two minutes, you're gonna start developing mild hypothermia. And in 15 minutes, you're gonna go unconscious. And then death sets in anywhere from like 15 to 30 minutes. Hey, you! What's that? Oh! oh. Whoa, whoa. Don't ever scream to a person who's standing, or a Santa who's standing on top of a roof. It's a surefire way to slide off. Oh, so many accidents happen from roofs every year. Mm -hmm. Ladders, just so problematic. Gotta be really careful. Hey, buddy. Bro, call 911, check for a pulse. If there's no pulse, start chest compressions. Hey, Santa. You killed him. <laughs> 
How about first of all, stop running outside in your boxers? Step one, that's creepy. Like you have a jacket with boxers on, why? You couldn't put pants on? <laughs> Is no one concerned about the well-being of Santa? Cause I am. He could have a subdural hematoma there. He could be bleeding into his brain. Someone's been putting minoxidil on his beard. <laughs> and a caloric uh, increase. Okay. Hmm? Well, nuts. Oh no, uh, your pulse is great. Uh, well, I, I don't know, Scott. You're, you're as healthy as a horse. I don't understand. His pulse is great, but you were making all those sounds while you were listening to it. What did his pulse feel like, jingle bells? Like it has to be regular. And if it's not regular, they could be at risk for AFib. He's of the age group to develop AFib. And AFib is an abnormal rhythm of the heart that can predispose an adult to form a clot. And that clot can get shot out systemically causing a serious problem. Okay, look, so what? You put on a little weight. A little weight? Does this look like a little weight to you? That sound weight was interesting. Can fluctuate from year to year. See, this doctor is not functioning as a good doctor, and I'll explain why. If a patient is gaining or losing weight without trying to, that can signal a hormonal, an autoimmune, or even a cancerous process that you need to investigate. I'm not just saying, oh yeah, it happens. Cause then you're missing things. Like imagine having a patient who said they put on 10 pounds in the last week without trying. You don't investigate. Turns out they have heart failure. They've been building up fluid in their lower extremities and their lungs, and now are gonna die of a heart attack because you couldn't step in because you're like, ah, all good. Pete, what's happening to me? Well, what's your diet like? Milk and cookies. Really? But I don't finish all the milk. Well, then there is your problem. Just try to cut back on the sweets, okay? <laughs> How about before making a diagnosis, actually take his blood pressure and get a full physical exam? My guy's like literally diagnosing him, guessing what it is. Like basing it on no science whatsoever. How fast does hair grow? And he's been pumping that cuff for like five minutes now and it's still not pumped up. Fake. Could be a hormonal imbalance. Again, diagnosing without knowing it. Explain the mood swings. Mood swings? Yeah, but look at my hair, it's turning gray. He says hormonal imbalance as if it's like, oh yeah, if it's that, you're good. Why is there a hormonal imbalance? There's actually unique cases called perineoplastic syndromes where cancers release hormone and can cause problems. This very frequently happens with certain lung cancers. <sighs> it is Jingle Bells, isn't it? Bro, please get an EKG stat <laughs> and cardiac consult. What is the Grinch? Like, what is the animal that is the Grinch? Or at least, what is the inspiration for the Grinch? To me, it's like deer meets anteater meets parakeet. How about you? Sound off in the comments. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. <coughs> I'm gonna pass out. The Grinch's heart developed cardiomyopathy from exercise? No, 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 no. Exercise helps the heart stay in a healthy shape. Most people don't realize this, a big heart is a heart that's not functioning well. <laughs> There's actually like medical conditions that we treat when it comes to a hypertrophied heart. That's not good, that's not a good thing. Thick muscle, inside the heart is dangerous. A cardiac muscle is not the same as skeletal muscle, it's different. The true meaning of Christmas came through and the Grinch found the strength of 10 Grinches. Actually, if you have cardiomyopathy, like specifically hypertrophic, meaning big heart cardiomyopathy, you're weaker and you become short of breath faster and you can't pick up a giant sleigh full of gifts. Two. So this is misinformation. Huh, are you kidding? Stick my tongue to that stupid pole, that's dumb. Oh yeah, don't do that because then your tongue will stick to it. Like double dog dare you. Oh, double dog dare you. Bear, what do you think of that? All right, all right. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, the way this works, I'm gonna explain it really fast. The tongue 
is warm. When you touch your tongue to the cold metal pole, the heat that's coming from your tongue is actually gonna be absorbed by the pole. And metal is a great conductor of heat, so it's gonna enter the pole much faster than the body's able to resupply warm blood to the area to warm up the tongue. So therefore, the surface of the tongue that has fluid on it is gonna actually solidify and freeze and attach to the pole. Painful situation. The only way you cure it is by pouring warm water. And I say warm water, not boiling water. I've seen people pour boiling water. You don't need to pour. In fact, if you probably put room temperature water, it would work anyway if you pour enough of it. I hope this is a lesson to you children at home. Shoot the glass. We went from children's movies to Die Hard. Is that because he's barefoot? I kind of remember the scene. Oh, he's gonna cut up his feet. Chalk up two more bad guys. Oh, he has so much glass in his feet, I can only imagine the pain. You get like a tiny splinter, it's problematic. Imagine having large shards of glass with all that body weight on top. Part of what hurts when you put pressure or weight on something is not just the weight, it's the surface area of the weight. So imagine you have a piece of glass on a small surface area with 100 pounds of weight on it. That's much more weight than just having 100 pounds across an entire foot that's making contact with the ground. Let him go! Oh, it's the pigeon! Evan, run! What is she gonna do? Oh, bird seed! And the bird's gonna peck at them. Death by pigeon! And you know New York pigeons are aggressive. They don't even care about humans. I can imagine that being uncomfortable. Couldn't you die from that? Nah. No way pigeons are that aggressive that they'll like peck out your eyes. They're just going for the sea. No, they're, you cannot call pigeons piranhas of the sky. I unfortunately lost my mom during the holidays and I actually tell the full story here with the help of animation, as well as answering the question, how we ended up getting Roxy as a member of the family. Click here to check it out. And as always, stay happy and healthy and happy holidays.